Hello and welcome to part four of the Amulets and Armor Trial of Time custom user made quest pack. All secrets run through. I've gone to the store, bought some healing stuff, and I will jump straight into quest four. Uh, this is a inner stronghold that we have gone through a ravine, a river, and then a cave to reach. And now we are at the stronghold. I'm going to take advantage of some quote-unquote stealth and go through a door in the side to get the drop on a couple of monsters. Uh, and I will use a speed scroll to boost my attack. They seem to be mad at somebody. Oh, it was me. The sound of opening doors can alert people. Now, this fight here is not a particularly happy one to do if you are a thief. So, avoiding it, or otherwise finding ways to take care of it, is good news. But, for right now, we will just power through it. So here we come across a locked door but we will take advantage of the fact that we are a rogue and unlock said door. Which might take a while. Let's take a look at our stealth score while we're at this. Oh wow, we are not very high at stealth. The way door this works is uh, you have a one for one percentage wise chance so we have about a 30 40 percent chance of unlocking the door a little bit um, the way randomization works in the game there's kind of an up and a low tick and uh, so if we are in a bad uh, streak you will really see it all right so now let's put a weapon on and kill anybody who may be behind this door or the next Okay, important thing here, we have got the Spell of Silence, which helps us, helps us with our stealth. So we're going to sneak around to the other end of this giant circle, and um, find the rest of the runes needed to cast this spell. This spell is very important for our player because it will make it faster, make uh, unlocking doors much easier. Although doors that use keys have no uh, advantage from stealth. Uh, fortunately for us, these people are not alerted, so we are going to unlock the door quietly. Basically, by the time the second um, upper or uh, well apex of the little sign wave down there gets to the end that's when it's time to press the button again these bad guys will be coming after me soon here are the two more runes that I need and instead of fighting them I'm gonna go ahead and just turn my stealth on and seven eight nope let's clear that seven two eight and now this should be a lot easier. And that's one of the big things that you get from this quest. Is the uh, spell of stealth, um, which gets used for sneaking around and unlocking stuff. Uh, unlocking stuff. Unlocking things is just waiting for them to dry. And hoping your saliva doesn't cause any weird infections. So our ring of regeneration has been nice to us, our patient little thief here, because any damage that we took earlier has regenerated in the amount of time it took to unlock the door. Now we have a wizard battle going on out there. These are barbarians from the fourth quest, who third quest I believe, who some of them have very weak projectiles and they're shooting each other through doors. Grab a big healing potion, and now we want to walk around here. These guys don't see us, so let's just jump on up. 
So here is the rest of the secrets. Uh, they will be up this ledge here. Uh, we will find a few items sitting around. Uh, some really cool ones. Some just normal. And most importantly, our gold coin will be behind one of these bushes. Oh, our next... Did we get it? Yes, our next rune was behind that. Now, without the ring of jumping, you cannot get up here unless you are a rogue. Those uh, people will continue fighting and doing whatever the heck they feel like right now. And there is that gold coin, uh, which is pretty much impossible to see from the bottom there. Uh, I don't remember if there's another potion up here or not. I thought there was, but it is not important. One of the many healing potions that we've picked up since we've entered. Get some ammunition. And pretty much just ignore everybody else in the level. Because we don't care. Now comes the hard part. Now we will fight the big boss. And this big boss is a, uh, f a uh, monster that you normally won't see until the very, very end of the game. So we're going to blast every single thing we have at it. We'll save that. We do want the shielding. If I can find it. There we go. Oh, that was the wrong spell. No! That is a flying potion. That was a healing potion. Potion of shielding is somewhere around here, and I've lost it. Uh, so we won't bother trying to use it. Uh, but we will fly in here. If we have flying, might as well use it. Now, every single person in this room shoots projectiles, so you have to have a nice approach to this without to, to not be stuck. Um, the guy shooting at you will suck away your magic, which can be very devastating for a lot of characters. But for our character, it doesn't matter. And he is dead. Um, and this is what I'm talking about with a overpowered rogue. I basically become... Uh, a guy from Wolfenstein fighting a bunch of medieval uh, Neanderthals. And uh, they have no ability to dodge, and all they do is shoot weak projectiles at me. I grab his stuff. Okay, there are a couple more secrets that we have not yet gotten. Some more coins. Um, one thing that's confusing is there are coins up here, um, but they don't count as the other coin. Um, so there are a lot of gold coins hiding around, but they are not hidden out of sight. They're just out of reach unless you've got either a ring of jumping or a rogue. And then we find ourselves another ring, which we'll put on, and it should be a ring of stealth. A uh, ring of accuracy, uh, which uh, in a ring form is the best way to get it because it'll increase your chance of getting crits and it also increase the damage of your weapon and now one last thing uh, which is a fun glitch in the game uh, you cannot drop items into water unless they are dropped by players or enemies so items that spawn on water do not just immediately fall into it so there's our magical floating axe uh, which is a pretty powerful axe um, you don't get a lot of good axes in the game and the uh, most powerful one all it does is regenerate ma uh, magic uh, so it goes pretty much unused uh, providing access for people and most importantly in this game here is the item that we wanted which is worth a lot of money and good news I get to keep it so there's our good news it's our money a little bit of experience and we'll go do what we need to do and sell that for tons of money woohoo um, and I will continue with a part five in order to get all of the rest of the secrets that so take a bit of doing, uh, and I will see you next entry.